You ever feel like you're getting out sparkled by your buddies when you meet up for local rides? Well today, in the Sparkling Clean S3 Power Sports Shop, there's gonna be sparklers blowing, there's gonna be sparks flying. Manny Fresh is gonna walk you through how to change the spark plugs on this Can-Am Defender. All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to bring back a little spark between you and your Can-Am Defender. We're gonna go over changing the spark plugs on this unit. With a few simple hand tools, we can get this job done. We're gonna need a three inch extension, a six inch extension, 16 millimeter deep socket, and a regular 3 8 ratchet wrench. Now these are utility vehicles, so access to the motor is pretty straightforward and simple. Let's spark it up. So on all the Defender models, the engine is located underneath the utility bed in the back of the vehicle. To access that, we're gonna lift the handle up on the side of the bed. Now. I'm a big guy, so I like room to work with. Luckily for me, the Defenders have a cool feature where you can unhook the shock absorber from the bed and gain a little more room. And know that this vehicle needs to be on level ground to do this so that this bed doesn't come back and get you. So the Can-Am Defenders have a V-twin motor. You're gonna have two spark plugs because you have two cylinders. Now one's access on the passenger side of the vehicle, the other one's access to the driver's side of the vehicle. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your spark plug wire off the first side we're gonna work on. All right, so go ahead and break your spark plug loose with your ratchet. Then you can go ahead and spin it and get it out of the cylinder head. So now we need to get a new spark plug to put back in. You need to check the part numbers to make sure you have the correct spark plug for your application. Some new spark plugs come with the end on them. On this particular unit, it does not. So you need to unscrew the end off of it to make sure it goes back in the same way. Now we can go ahead and put the spark plug back in the cylinder head. Go ahead and get your extension and socket and go ahead and snug it down. And remember to torque the spark plug to spin. Now you got your spark plug tight. Go ahead and get your spark plug wire, slide it back over the end. Listen to it snap in, give it a good wiggle, make sure it's tight and now you can move on to the other side. Okay, so working on the other side of the vehicle, the spark plug on this side is located on the top side of the cylinder facing the exhaust. First thing we need to do is get the spark plug wire off of it. So go ahead and pull it up. Now that you got your spark plug out of the way, we're gonna need a three inch extension and our 16 millimeter deep socket. So go ahead and slide it over the spark plug and break it loose. So you got it broke loose, now you're gonna go ahead and just pull it out of the cylinder. Go ahead and get your old spark plug out. And then now we can get the new one and put it back in. All right, so go ahead and put it in the cylinder head. Make sure the threads have started correctly, hand tighten it, and you can put your socket and extension on it. And go ahead and thread her down, and then go ahead and grab your 3H ratchet and tighten her down. Go ahead and grab your cool wire, slip it back over your spark plug, make sure it's nice and snug. Now you got yourself a pretty sparky situation. Don't forget to put your shock absorber back on your bed, and you're ready to go. That ought to spark up the riding. So that was a sparkling little process that Manny just showed you, but before you spark this thing up, we need you to do a couple of things. Like this video, go subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we're gonna keep showing you how to get it done.